Question 1160. What adult problems were you not prepared to deal with? What what? Adult problems. Oh, oh, I, I know. Go on. No, 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 no. You, no yeah. what, what's the second word? What, what, what? Adult, adult problems. Were you adult. Not oh, <laughs> adult. <laughs> I, 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 have an answer, I think the, the bing 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 what do we do <laughs> you just answer you okay. just answer oh yeah. um all, all, of them. Them. All, all of them all of them that's a good answer but they're not yeah, all, wow. all, all, all the adult problems all the adults like can handle like i don't know like driving a car having sex buying food like how is sex a problem, though? <laughs> it depends on whether or not you well, get it. Well, you know, well, some people are true. not getting I have the problem whenever, of Whenever not you grew up without, without sex education and, like, your 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 only teacher was was experienced, yeah, there it, it happens. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Touche. Uh, yes, uh, Ox said parenthood. Jefferson says kids. Oh. Uh, 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 what? Financial stuff like like mortgages and taxes. Yeah, yeah. you the don't hardest... learn that stuff in school. You know the, about how nope. to file your taxes, and at least not in the U.S. You don't. No. Nope. What, what they what they didn't teach me in school was how to reintegrate yourself after you get out of prison. <laughs> <laughs> if they not teach you that yeah. in prison. <laughs> yeah. They they didn't teach me anything about going to prison, like like you know what to watch out for, you know, or anything like get that. Back. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Lucy said, "Working out what's for tea." Harmonica man said, "Health stuff." Health stuff. Uh, never again said, "It's not prepared the part where you have shit teachers." Yeah, parenting. Yes, and parenting is a big one. <laughs> no. Yeah, I mean, I, I was I was taught that if your baby cried too much, um, that you could put it in a sock drawer all night and then get a bad grade. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought I thought in the in the, in the south you were taught to, to, to whiskey was the solution to babies. Well, they give you these dolls that scream, but you can put them in a in a drawer and uh, and forget about them over the weekend. I yeah, think and that, yeah. you take the batteries must out. Had that in his his sex ed class too. Or there's like a, like a little key that you can put yeah, in their back yeah. and they'll and they'll shut up. So like for the first like couple of months, you know, when my first kid, I was like looking for that keyhole. Like where the fuck? <laughs> right. is it? Didn't they didn't give you the key when you left the hospital. They like you oh, must God. have been fun to lose your virginity to, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I knew found the, the I, keyhole. I, I, at least I had an idea where, where the key went in that in that scenario. Well, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you're, you're right, right or wrong. I mean, it's a fifty-fifty. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and, and you'll find out pretty quick. <laughs> sometimes, yeah. sometimes it's one makes it right loud and one, one doesn't. <laughs> uh, Stool says sex is a problem if you're driving a car and buying food at the same time. Oh, food. That's a thing, too. I, I never realized when I was a kid growing up that I was going to have to figure out what the hell I'm going to have for dinner every night for the rest of my life. I'm responsible for my, my parents are no longer going to say, this is what we're having tonight. I did not even think about that until I was out on my own. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> uh, I was always worried about who was going to yell at, yell at me after I got out of the house, but that, that turned out not to be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Random strangers took over that job. Yeah. 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 Who's, who said they love me? Sir, put your pants on. This is a Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, when trying to kill two birds with one stone, you often run into some difficult situations. <laughs> it's like, which one do I spend my money on? A, a Wendy's or... Pants? Oh, well, a Wendy or a Wendy? Oh, when, yes. When is better than, than McDonald's? <laughs> I definitely go with the one with tits, Jim. <laughs> oh, so not McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> I tried Waffle House, though. So he, he was, I mean, he, the guy was hilarious, but he, he, he sucked in the bed. Like, all he wanted to do was just, like, he wanted me to squeeze his nose. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, you, you, know, you hear that, you know, if he has big feet, then you so know, well. I'm literally don't... about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Uh, Aunt Jer said relationships, also reality. Jiro Sam says diapers. Did his, did his makeup extend down to his junk? <laughs> <laughs> You just, you just walk full force into a brick wall and see what breaks first. <laughs> oh. okay, I don't think I brought enough wine for this. <laughs> it's okay. Questions get easier. Next question. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. First of all, like half of us didn't even answer and neither did you. Everyone Before... answered something. I didn't. Well, I guess I what did I say? Not I said not getting laid enough. That does not count. Were you getting laid well, enough as a kid? Is, that is a serious problem. Wait, 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 wait. Were you getting laid enough as wait, 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 wait. Were you getting laid enough as a kid? Yeah. Well, I mean not as a kid kid, but <laughs> <laughs> the right amount. Yeah, the right, right, right. amount. Right. Right amount of the range. Okay. <laughs> what about you, Dave? Oh, I have no idea. I can't remember very much about being an adult. I mean, it was pretty weird when you come downstairs in the morning and you find that your entire carpet is moving. Because it's I absolutely huh? covered in ants. Oh, I mean, God, what, nothing no. prepared me. Nothing prepared me to deal with that situation. No. Did, yeah, nothing. Did, did somebody slip you with some LSD or? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Just the entire carpet was full of ants. Did you uh, erect a force field around said ants and use no. them in any uh-huh. manner? No, I got, I got what you <laughs> would call. I, heard that too. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jim has figured out the tone for this show. <laughs> it <was> quick. <laughs> Good for you, Jim. I, uh, um, I got what you would call a vacuum cleaner. I just hoovered them up. <laughs> Surprisingly easy. Yeah, but, but I don't just they wasn't... come back? Of course, then the survivors built a colony inside the bed. <laughs> can, can we not talk about erect and vacuum cleaning at the same time? That brings back bad memories. <laughs> oh, did you fall down while you were naked vacuuming? <laughs> oh, I heard that. kids at school talking about it, but my mom had a Kirby and that didn't work out so well. <laughs> Ooh, those are pretty strong. My mom had a hose attachment for hers. Oh, man. My mom's remember like it weighed like a ton. Like you, you had to like drag it around with you everywhere. But did it not I have still a motor? Have it. Was it not? Did it not have a motor that drove itself? I, 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 st- I still have it, Jim. It's from the 1950s. No, she she insisted on having this Kirby that cost like two hundred dollars to repair every time it broke down. But uh, <laughs> so I guess like in, in her circle, the Kirby was like the best vacuum cleaner or whatever. It was a, it was yeah. a sign of uh, sign of. Wealth, I guess. Yeah, I yeah. My house. Yeah, my mom was like that too. Yeah. Yeah. Did you almost call your mom your housekeeper, Maya? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> my I mean, she was. I mean, I'll say it. She totally was, but no, I didn't think so. Credit where credits do. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much all of her moms were their housekeeper until they made me do it. <laughs> yeah. 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 You're and then, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, like, it, I got it, all this homework to do. I couldn't possibly. If you call making the kids do it and then taking credit for it being a housekeeper, then sure. I guess. <laughs> yeah, it works. I think that's an au pair. Um, an au Amanda. pair is a, a nanny. Yes. Yeah, not a, not a housekeeper. You should know that, Dave. I don't know why you should. <laughs> why, why would I know that? I don't know. <laughs> so, is an au pair Amanda. like yeah. What? What's your answer? Uh, parenting, I guess. Especially, like, not, you know... Okay. Parenting a teenage boy who recently lost his virginity. That's like you to announce that on, does he oh. like you to announce that on streams? Yeah. Did, did, you have in <laughs> did he tell you? Or did you... Oh, we, we talked... We, he tells me. It took him, like, it took him almost a month to tell me. But he did eventually. Yeah. I still haven't oh. told my mom. <laughs> <laughs> we're, so we're watching this movie the other night and it's got um you know it's a it's a single mom and kid and but it's one of those like you know the moms that brings home a, a new guy every night or whatever and I never did that. I never once brought like a date home or anything like that. 
So I turned to him and I was like, you're welcome. He's like, for what? I was like, for never doing anything like that with you. For not, you know, being a whore or anything. And she, he looks at me and goes, God, you're such a loser, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Oh, okay. yeah, I'm fine. Your dates just didn't want to come back with you, huh? Oh, no. <laughs> no, I just I didn't do any. Like my 20s was all being a single mom. I didn't, you know, work master's kid. That was it. Yeah. I mean, I, I wish I could credit not bringing people back, being a single father, going back to the house, you know, as as being a sign of a good parent. But really, I just didn't want to run them off. <laughs> <laughs> Let's yeah. go someplace else. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Never again says, "Well, there was a snake in the basement that I had to get out alone, and I wasn't sure I wasn't going to kill it. I had to call a friend, another woman, who was the snake extractor, to talk me through it." Fair enough. It's the uh, snake uh, extractor. Extractor. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Aunt Jer says, "Congratulations, Angel." Should we all wish him congratulations, and you can show it to him. I, yes, yeah. Congratulations, Angel! Angel. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what kind of bait do you use for a snake? A bait? Child? Snake bait? <laughs> yeah, I thought we were George. the bait. <laughs> Depends on the kind of snake, uh, earth snakes you could use. Uh, they're, yeah. they're down there eating worms and crickets. Uh, for garter snakes in your basement, it's probably uh, crickets too. Or chicken eggs. I know the, the larger snakes around here like to eat chicken eggs. Like a black snake, yeah. Yeah. You know. Or a hog snake. I mean, but do they just follow you? Like you're you're holding an egg. Like here's snake, 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 and they just follow you like out the door. Like how do you get no. a snake? No. I don't my grandpa well, used to question. put uh, he used to put ping, or, uh, golf balls in the in the the nest, and when the snakes would crawl in and eat it, they would try to crawl out, and the and the eggs wouldn't you know they wouldn't be eggs, they wouldn't uh, they wouldn't <laughs> bust inside. <laughs> So they would get stuck in the uh, in the fence. Oh ring. no! Oh Holy shit! That's kind of terrible. That is. Well, I mean, when he's trying to protect like the chickens and the and the eggs, because I mean, they would eat every egg in there, and then maybe a chicken. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I once oh. saw a film where a snake ate, ate another snake, and couldn't yeah. swallow the whole thing. Yeah, that's common. So they had to crawl uh, around with a snake. Yeah, yeah. You see a snake ass ass sticking out. Like, if you see a snake with king in its name, in its common name, that generally indicates that it's a snake that eats other snakes. Like yep. a king snake, oh. eat, a, a mm -hmm. king cobra will eat, they eat other snakes, uh, but most cobras uh, will eat other snakes if given the opportunity. God damn it, that was science. Yes, this is the problem. If you enjoyed that, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. If you think you've got a better answer or just want to tell us how wrong we are, leave a comment down below. Subscribe down here for new questions every day and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on our live shows. If you click over here, you'll see our latest upload. Over here for what YouTube thinks you'll love the most. And finally, for a complete playlist of all our currently recorded least questions, click here.